Well, good afternoon, guys. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning, dynamite service with explosive results. So we got up on the roof, cleaned out the super gutter, uh, brightened up the gutters around the house, did not do a house wash, but we did a shadow box fence all the way around, travertine walkway, paver driveway, and travertine pool deck and pool enclosure. So take a look, I'll spin you around. That's what the fence looks like now. Pretty sweet, huh? And this is what the uh, gutters look like. So I want you guys to really look at how bright and beautiful those are. This is the travertine uh, front foyer and walkway. Um, really nice. There's actually some rust, iron, and sulfur that could be removed off there. Driveway came out spectacular. That was done with the angular non-chlorinated sand, which I highly recommend you use. Um, and uh, there's the gutters. We showed you uh, a video before this one in case you're interested um, uh, of what the super gutter looked like. I'm going to try not to step in the mud here. Everything, guys, was done with uh, out of the X-Jet chemical pail that's strapped to an aluminum hand truck, 100 feet of 3 8 siphon hose. And of course, we have the single braid married up to a double braid, shooting off a DN10 with a Mossmatic swivel. Use the uh, pump up sprayer for areas that. Um, you know, are really heavy. We use a two foot stainless steel lance here. Um, and I put a reducer on the end of that uh, so that I can hook my X-Jet and run straight off of the DN-10. I don't use a whole lot of guns, although I do have this one and many others. Uh, that's a Mossmatic swivel, but so the reducer onto the lance and then the X-Jet. Uh, is makes quick work out of everything. Uh, just shot the fence, fence is in uh, the stages of drying. So we're gonna take you inside and let you see how gorgeous this pool enclosure came out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna walk in there because it's really muddy back here and um, I don't wanna uh, track anything in. But what I will show you is uh, all of these rocks were done along here, these travertine stones. But uh, we made these, these uh, planter rocks, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, and we did that with, um, with a, sort of a hot mix. Uh, and you can just see what that, those look like. Um, and then of course, uh, your fence all the way down just looks outstanding. Here's your pool enclosure. Uh, all the beams and screens are nice and white. Look at that travertine just sparkling through the screens. Um, so uh, got this all beautiful as well as that fence there, another fence in the back. You can see the, the other fence in the back if you look really closely. Um, we did this uh, paver walkway here um, and things just came out absolutely spectacular. I'll bring you inside really quickly. Uh, hopefully I don't have too much mud on my feet. Uh, these drains were really tough because they were so clogged. And of course they um, go underground to a pop-up out here. So I had to pull that apart and dig out a bunch of muck and debris that was in there. So um, you can just see what my solutions do for windows. See how sparkling and shining those windows are. Let me check the bottoms of my feet. They're not too, too terribly bad. So uh, I'll take you in here and let you see. We have a hard drain spot area there. It's a big sag, but um, patio furniture, you know, made that really pretty. And you can just see what these beams look like. Uh, everything is in the process of drying, obviously, but um, one of the uh, troubled areas. Now, what we did do was we chased all of these drains, um, made sure that they're flowing properly to the outside there, all the way around here, and make sure it goes all the way to the outside there. And that takes a little bit of work. This was a troubled area here because it had um, the dryer vent that just leached out a bunch of lint, clogging this whole area up in here. Uh, this is a Sherwin-Williams paint, but it is color fast. I did test it prior to getting involved in the process of cleaning and you can just see how beautiful everything looks. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll up. It's starting to get a little chilly out, a little windy out, and uh, we have a little bit of a cold front, but I just wanted everybody to see, you know, how, how gorgeous things came out um, uh, with, uh, with the X-Jet and uh, some sodium hypochlorite and uh, the right types of solutions. You can just see how gorgeous everything came out. TNT pressure cleaning, dynamite service with explosive results. Thank you for watching my videos. And if you have any questions, feel free uh, in the comment section below or um, uh, message me. And uh, uh, if I can't answer it, I'll ask somebody who may be able to. I have a network of business professionals who I uh, constantly bounce ideas off of and things like that. So um, uh, there wasn't a whole lot to be careful for other than um, some areas where you, you can see some failed paint. So you can see areas like that that are buckled. Um, so you want to be uh, conscientious of that. And that's why that X-Jet works so well, uh, because 
it just reduces your 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 pressure um and it really really looks nice so uh shot this fence too you can just see how beautiful that looks and uh have a great day everyone keep cleaning take care